Oh. Everybody stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, calm down. Help. Yeah. Oh. Take my hand. 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 Take can't you we tell? We just had that whole discussion. You had that whole discussion, and you can't even be happy for me. I am. This is me being happy. I think it's fucking oh, okay. awesome. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's great. I, I think a that. thousand. Good for you. I want two thousand. <laughs> you can make a hundred grand. Fuck that. Half a mil. That's what I want to see. Get on it. Get on it. I want it to be the best book in CG. I know you could do it. I know you could do great. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make 200 day one. All right. Day two, another 200. Day three, 400. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to see. Nothing You're but so success good at that. for you and your family. I want, your, I want your kids to grow up and be millionaires. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's Thank it. you. I'm touched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I wish all the same for you too, Camel. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? I don't know. Last where's time, the... last time we had like four hundred people in here. Now we got five. Where, where, where is everyone? <laughs> Mike, this is what Mike said to me today when I had Corey and, and Clayton on. He goes, "I had over two hundred people when I was streaming with the Bartons. Where, where are they now, Mike?" Where, where are you they? left out what you said just before that. What, I don't know what I said. What did yeah, I say? Yeah, exactly. The context. <laughs> what did I say? You said, you said, uh, oh, like you got like four, you got them four backers. And then I said, oh, I think they got two on my show. And you're like, oh, I only got two on Bancross. Oh, that's, that's pretty bad. It is pretty bad, though. I mean, what's, what's the go there? So I hit back. Mm. That's what I do. You F around and you find out. Oh, you got me good. Mm. Uh, so I guess Malin's still live mm. with all the fellas. But that's good because then if they end, I mean, that's a big if. <laughs> Those guys were streaming until 9 or 9.30 our time last night, Rob. I checked the time. It was like... When, when did they start, though? Like, they started at... I don't know, 2 a.m. for them and stream through till, I don't know, 6 or 7 a.m. Do they have, do people have kids and families? I don't know what's happening. What, <laughs> we've got Americans in the chat. What the hell is going on? And I was, I checked the chat because I was, I was watching TV and I was about to go to bed. Mm. Um, and I was checking the chat and it's all the people we know, like Jeremy Burtz was in there, um, regulars. I'm like, do you guys not sleep? Mm. I don't know what's going on. Uh, D's here. He says, first, maybe. I forgot the rules. Oh, well, if you forgot the rules, then allow me to elucidate. I may be down, but I'm not out. Tom Brady's never out. You broke the rules. You I broke the rules. You breaking the rules. You, you broke the rules. You broke the rules. How you found out I broke the rules. Do you know the rules, Rob? I, I, all I know is you made thirty dollars yesterday, streaming from my computer <laughs> at you my house. Cut? You want to cut? I think I need a cut. I think I think that's it's, what happens. It's funny because now I know that setup that you're in. Mm. Like yeah. I know what it is there. So it's it a bit of the magic is is gone. A bit of the mystique. I want to. Uh, I want to see your setup. Am I going to be blown away, or is it going to be? I've shown it to I've shown it to people. There's crap everywhere here. Yeah, but like You've it's seen how I light my purpose. face. Yeah. Yeah. No. How do you light? Yeah, your you face? have. I've shown it to like Eric Kennedy. Like that's my that's my light. <laughs> mm. 
it's a lamp and it's i put paper lamp. around it to diffuse the light that's very clever yeah um oh god uh, damn it let's sumo say, let's say hello to some people eric grant's here age comics oh girls uh girls s4 xyz was here but uh unfortunately uh i think sumo dropped the hammer on on the girls but that's thank thank you sumo we got how sumo there who else we got um hyper wizard at eh, choke out come on stream becomes hit or miss and we found that when choke out yeah. on he's on and then sometimes he'll just start telling stories and you'll lose half an hour of the show he also says this though mike he also says don't highlight that oh. too late <laughs> D says cocaine is a hell of a drug. Thank you, Sumo. And now this $10 is back in home base. Uh, sorry, Rob. I'll catch you next time, he says. Really, though? We got Pums no. back. Oh, <laughs> Pum. Oh, I've forgotten about Pum. Uh, are you available this week? i got to get you on. I'm sorry, man. I've been neglecting. Anyone who's been sending me DMs for the last two weeks, it's been very hit, hit or miss. I've just been, I've been neglecting. It doesn't even um, he doesn't even respond to my DMs, so don't take it personally. Yeah, please don't take it personally. Uh, Eric Grant says that stream was weird. I'm not used to seeing Bancroft without a hat. His head looks like a friggin' rectangle. No, it's a diamond. No, no what is it? A, 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 a hexagon. A hex or a trapezoid? Yeah, hexagon. It's shaped like this. It is the weirdest shaped head I've I've ever seen. Mm. I mean, it's but not. I it's head. not. People assume because I have a hat on. It's What's just that? weird. It's not horrible. It's just weird. Yeah, people assume because I have a hat on that I don't have hair, but uh, I just I just feel comfortable in the hat. Might be all the forehead talk. Uh, Rob is now the Bob Iger of CG. I have no idea who that is. Bob Iger is the returned CEO of Disney. I don't, I don't know what he's trying to say there. Mm. Um, Voyage is in the house. Saying hail, Sumo takes everything personally. Uh, Jay Ryan says false economy. KSS is here. Awesome ones here. All right. Well, Camel sent me art today, and he's like, "Do you want to do the draw stream?" I don't know. Yesterday, and I said, "Yeah." And I've had one of those days where I'm just, I'm deflated. So um, I'm happy to actually draw some, <laughs> some, some house, some uh, boots and heels, if you're happy. Um, I'm going to start off with some flatting, and then maybe we'll get into some coloring. We'll see. All right, can we uh, bring this up real quick? Because these boys are closing out. Clayton and Corey, Mike, I'm in trouble, man. They are, they are closing. Well, I'm in trouble too. Yeah, they're closing. I had 812 backers. Now, but bear in mind, they were at like 700 a week ago. They've added like 40 tonight on mailings. They might, they might, they might beat me. That's significant. That's know, a significant crazy. bump. Yeah, but it's the number I'm looking at because I'm at $65,000 redos. Uh, so. They won't but, beat my number. They'll beat. They might beat my backer number though. Number of but backers. do you count um, all my eBay sales? No, because no. it's it's eBay. Well, in that case, then yeah, that looks like they probably. But hang on, what are they going to do? They're going to send an email to Indiegogo. This will be up mm -hmm. for another three days if they do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But. It's ending now. Did no one tell the Bartons? Uh, I don't. No one tells them anything. Shut down straight away. Uh, KSS says Clayton and Corey have been working it hard for days. They're doing great. Yeah, they've been they've been stumping. They've been out uh, hitting the pavement. They've been on Rob's. They've been on mine. They've they've been on everyone's. Jay Ryan says if you're deflated, Bancroft, I got pills for that. I'm not. I, I'm not deflated. I'm a Mister Ambassador. By the way, we need to talk about that, Rob. I'm officially a uh, three-peat CG ambassador three years in a row. Um, mm. Noel Lockhart says, here I was hoping Camel would be here. I can settle, I suppose. Were uh, you, I'm though? The same thing. Were you? Were you really, is, Nolan? Yeah, Nolan is Camel's number one fan. Mm. Nolan might actually come on to, I know that's Nate. Nate 
might come on to um it's Nate and Nolan. They're like battling it out for uh for um uh fan supremacy. Uh, um you, you've got a person from Twitch. Wow. Thank you so much for watching on Twitch. Um oh nice, you guys are artists. Yep. Yeah, Rob's Rob's a fantastic artist. Yeah, let's play, let's play a video about how good Rob's art is. Oh, fine. Uh, I want to say I'm really glad Michael Bancroft is here. Uh, I mean this. Uh, I, I feel like, uh, look, I'm a, an admirer of yours. I like what you've done. You've carved out a path for yourself. I want to be better friends. Uh, that's what I want to say to you. Uh, Rob, the replicator, I didn't even know you were here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Thanks, welcome, my you. friend. You are an awesome artist, and we're happy to have you. <laughs> Wait, are you an artist? <laughs> <laughs> right. He is a good artist. Okay. Uh, you Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any of your art to show our, our new uh, guest here? No, I don't. That's not lying around. I, I did notice, Mike, how you were just like this with your drink. Praise me, Ethan. Praise me, please. Whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I am an artist. Um, how do I say this? Ineffable, ineffable jewel. I am. Uh, Rob is a shoe artist. Yes, you are. You draw on shoes. You're not. Oh, I just put them back too. I'm not getting them down again. No, yeah, don't don't bother. It's not that good. Um, D asks, when is the new cover going up for sale, Mike? Well, can we talk uh, about that tonight? Got... What's that? Can we talk about that tonight? Yes. Um, well, let's let me bring it up actually, because I don't um, I don't want to I don't want you to make any commitments before talking. I'm to me not. About it. I'm absolutely not going to. But. I will bring it up because I have been working on it, even though this week, you know, sometimes you have a weekend that's just this weekend's a write off. It's like things happening, especially when kids get involved, they've got commitments and stuff. Um, you, you told me something, I don't, that you're going to be able to work pretty hard for a little bit of time. I don't know if you want to expand on that or not. I'm going to work pretty hard for, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, no, no, we can talk about that because people have been asking. So we should talk about that as well. Uh, uh, we, we got two more backers for the Bartons. Uh, thank oh, you, everyone. Who yeah, that, that's, that's definitely not mm -hmm. mailing with 500 people watching. No, it's all um, over here. All right, so this is where I'm up to thus far with the cover. Oh, Mo Biggs here. How, Mo? Um, this is where I'm up to thus far with the cover. I started doing the lights. Um, I don't know, I can turn them on and off. Look, I, I don't know why. I assumed this was going to be a day scene. No, it's at night. So I've got to, I've got to, I've, I've put the shadows on. Where are they? Where are the shadows? Here. There. And now I've got to put the lights on. And then and then I might have to tweak with the shadows a little bit. I've just put this kind of blue glow on her just because I'm going to have her blue and I just wanted to sort of look. I mean, I don't have to keep that on for while I'm working. That's more of a work in progress glow. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, I put some effects in the windows. I like the and... sky. What's that? Nice. I like the sky. Yeah, I use that same sky for everything. <laughs> Copy and paste? Or... I did it once. Yeah, well, I you know what I did? I took a like an existing thing and then I did this all these Photoshop treatments over it and got it how I wanted it. And then I just use it for everything. I really like it. It's got like Milky Way effect. But uh she's gonna have like lightning and stuff on her. And this is all gonna be bathed in blue because she's gonna glow blue. Can I can um, I throw a suggestion that you're gonna ignore completely? Because it please do. I think you should change those traffic lights from green to red. There you go. I'm no, I might not ignore that. I think that might be a really good idea. Yeah, that probably would make sense because they're stopped. Yeah, and like red's a better color than green. Yeah, in yeah, my yeah. no, I, I agree because there's red here and then there's red. Yeah, what the hell? 
I just did. I just pressed something. Oh, I tried. I tried to zoom in on stream. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, yeah, you Sumu. get red here as well. No, that's a good Rob. That's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Sumo says, "You know what? She's not gonna uh, have on her uh, nips. Nips. No, no. You can zoom in. There will be no nips represented. Not, not even a little bump. No, just flat." That was a difficult angle to make. She, she's doing her best Gilgamesh impersonation. No, <laughs> no, she isn't. That was not easy to do, but it's so small. Like you can't, you don't have to get too tricky. It's the same with the hands. Look, she's got like. Uh, Stump hands. I was happy with it. I was happy with how. All right, I will, I will change them to red, Rob, and you can say that was my idea. We got Danger do Vanessa now. in the house. Thank you so much, da uh, Vanessa, for putting on the uh, the awards again, and uh, for did we win? Facilitating my win. We didn't win best ensemble. No, that who won? Who won? CG Kings. Uh, Eric Grant yeah. says that's a good idea, Rob. I'm going to steal that and claim it as my own. Michael hmm. Bancroft, 2022. You know it. How does of everyone course. know me so well? I just, I just think like the green like it detracts like I, yeah. I no, I'm yeah, already yeah. looking at it and I, it I shouldn't yeah be. it makes bet more sense too because they would have been stopped and she because the 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 that intersection is clear so mm. yeah that makes sense I'm gonna do that good All idea right. Rob now color my next book because of that Mo although Mo points out having green and red is more festive yeah I don't know if I'm going for festive uh but he also says bancroft loves using that sky because there's no moon you know it yeah there's no there's no nipples and there's no moons in the I feel like you're i feel like you're racist towards moons i'm a moonist mm, clearly um all right so yes uh, awesome one says, get this... give rob a color credit in the book <laughs> uh once i get this done Here's what I'm thinking. And I just came to this decision this morning. Mm -hmm. What if I test out a Shopify crowdfund second chance thing? But it, it would be more like crowd selling. It would be more like what Ripper did. Because I would probably want to get a bunch of them printed first so they could go out straight away. Uh, oh, PTP says, looks good. Thank you so much, Patrick. And, and Ray says, why not the yellow lights instead of green or red? I mean, he's not wrong. Basically, any color but green <laughs> would be good. Either of them would have been preferable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had one choice. You made the wrong one. Oh, my God. Mo, how did I not pick that up? That's why Bearcroft hangs out with Camel, so he can be, I'm not racist against moons. Look, I have a moon <laughs> friend. That is oh so God. true. Uh, yeah, it gives me a chance to test it out with something simple. It would just be the book. I would have to see, you know, if I could probably do a couple of add-ons, but very little, you know, try to stretch goal, maybe a trading card. It just it would be super simple. And it would it would go out almost immediately, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. I mean, I, I can't imagine why it wouldn't. All right. So um, so my quick my questions are. This cover here was intended to be for like like the reprint for your next campaign, yeah? Like the issue one reprint for the next campaign. Yep. So what happens to that now? I think it just continues on. I actually was going to sell it beforehand anyway because I'm running out of the first editions. And mm -hmm. you know I don't like to not have something to sell. And I also don't like the idea of... um. That's that's the problem, say, with a book like Rini with Fiendish. So just mm. say you're just learning about Fiendish now and you're like, oh, I want to jump on. I want to get issues one and two. Can I get issue one? Even if I want to pay for the shipping and Rini's like, oh, sorry, you got to wait until it all fulfills together. Yeah, yeah. So I think she does have it available on a site. I think so. But she didn't for a while. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Either way, the point is I want to have it available to buy for people who are just hearing about it now you know if, if people want to wait and just pay the shipping once that's fine but if you if you don't mind and the shipping is going to be 10 bucks 
to the States for this book. For Waking so, Dream, for yeah, this reprint. For this reprint. How are you doing that? So you have to, you have to tell me off. Yeah, oh, yeah. Patrick says, do it, then show me how to do it. Yeah, I'm going to learn. Mm. I've got uh, Brian if I need to, that Eric Saga, if I need to, um, if I need to answer some questions. I've just set up my Shopify. Uh, I'm going to get the plug in. I'm going to play around with it. And I mean, you know, depending how long this thing takes me to finish, I'm hoping I could get this thing up pretty soon. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really bothered if it, you know, makes any money or anything like that because, you know, I, I think I can print these things fairly, fairly cheaply. Um, and yeah, so it, it, I mean, this is about, it'll be a $20 price for the book, 60, 64, 68 pages, something like that, plus $10 shipping. And we'll just see how it goes. I like the idea of having, you can see how many people have bought it and the numbers tick up. I don't like the idea of just putting it up on a website and it's just, oh, it's for sale and no one knows how many it's sold. Uh, that's like old school. Uh, right. Patrick says, I want to put Ultra Strap on my own as well. Yeah. Well, that's I'm going to document the whole thing. We're going to see how it goes. Um, and um, yeah. And also, and then once I get my, my because it'll be a separate website for the crowdfund just like ripper did so he's got ericjuly.com that's his main site and then he's got the ripper versus his crowdfund campaign so it's going to be the same thing i think i'm going to have to go with lucentwakingdream.com that's the shortest i could get um i've i've already secured painteddeath.com so what that's about fine translucent no uh so yeah yeah KSS agrees yeah yeah people like seeing the numbers go up exactly make an event of it uh butterbear says i bought the bundle got all my money back using social good so i like ebay this month oh really i don't know what social good is but uh the, the thing about ebay is it's very limiting because it's a 14 percent. that's crazy cut. i didn't realize it was that high it is crazy but they do um they do take care of everything like all like the emails, you know, you send them the tracking numbers and everything. It's like everything. Mm. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a hassle to set this thing up, but totally doable. Um, awesome one says, just bought Infinital from Amazon by Chris Fisk. Not sure he's making any money as it wasn't that expensive. Yeah, Chris has sort of come from a different angle on this. He sells amazing product for pretty cheap. And... Um, the whole idea of that being, well, you're hoping that you're going to sell more. Um, oh, Ray, Ray says, uh, if you need help with any web stuff, Michael, my hand is up. Mike, do, make... do we do we tell people about that amazing idea I had or do we keep that under wraps? Can you put that in the private chat? You mm -hmm. sent so through so many amazing ideas, Rob. I just, I can never remember how many I need to steal. Um, I, I very well may, uh, come to you for help, Ray. We'll see. I mean, uh, Brian from Aerith Saga has done it. He's set it up using Shopify. Um, so, I mean, he, he knows a lot more than I do about this stuff, but he made it seem like it's totally doable and we get to keep more percentage. I think it's like 2% versus five. Uh, we get the money straight away. Hmm. Don't have to wait around for a month to pay artists or whatever and all that sort of stuff. The only issue, the only thing stopping us is it's a whole big hassle for people who aren't, you know, who just want to make comics. And then on top of it is the reach. You don't have the, uh, you don't have the traffic onto your website, obviously, that Indiegogo does or Kickstarter. All right, what are you saying? People have been talking about that. Yes. No, we can talk about that. Mm. Uh, so Rob had an idea because we've been... Actually, let me bring this up. This is... I mean, I don't even know if Camel's going to turn up. So we'll see how, you know, how well I get into the, into the drawing. But uh, who sent out that tweet earlier? Was it... Was it Murph? Who was it? Someone sent out a tweet asking, should we go Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or... 
um, our own sites. I think it was Murph. And I said both. Uh, it was. Let me bring that up. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da, stop screen. Present. Uh, we got another backer for Kozor. Just let everyone know. Good job. Back Kozor now to defeat the Lucent. So then I can defeat them with Painted Death. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Got to spread that reach around, says Nolan Lockhart. Um, all right. Uh, what is a creator to do for future campaigns? Indiegogo, pro, the in-demand option, con, risk of mm -hmm. shadow banning. Um, I would also say con, now you've got um, really loyal comic skaters who are like, I don't want to back on Indiegogo anymore. If they're going to F with comic skate, I don't want to give them money. That's fine, though. G give people the option to back on Indiegogo if they want to, because some people will want to. Yeah. Other people Some won't, people so care. give them a different option. Yep. Bancroft rule number 781, always have an evil to beat. Yes. Vanessa. Vanessa knows. She knows. It's her, usually, knows it's usually his stuff. family and friends, though. <laughs> well, it's you can make your friend, your fr family and friends the evil because mm. then they don't, they don't actually take it seriously, I hope. Um, all right. Uh, Hyper Wizard. Hello. Hello. There you go. So that's why I thought I, I know other people have been talking about it. Um, all right. Kickstarter. My, I had pro, it first. Pro, large exposure, con, no in-demand option. Well, I don't know Kickstarter as well. Patrick probably does. Uh, but he put his toys on there. He knows there's a really massive toy scene. Although I did see someone say, I was going to back this toy. And then I saw that this guy is part of a hate group. And I didn't. I was like, oh, my God. Anyway, um, yeah, there's no in-demand. The, another con is you get paid at the end. That it always still seems dumb to me. Um, yeah. And also and... the exposure is sort of like the exposure is really relative to how if you can get trending on the site. If not, you just get buried under a mountain of other books. You also so. have the problem as well that people like back with their credit cards and then there's credit card problems. Like there's the expiries, you know, out of date or, or whatever. And you have to follow up those people to get them to re back. So that's a pain in the ass. Uh, Patrick says that guy got me four backers. Yes. Now that's a win for the Streisand effect. Uh, Monetize most says, like, Rob, like Rob doesn't do the same thing with the super intelligent millionaire snail. Mm. we've got to make a comic like a, you know the, the diaz brothers are making their strip that's what you could do with your memberships commission someone who can do a, a strip just three panels a week mm -hmm. of the super intelligent millionaire style adventures just i would yeah just like a just like a schultz thing you know like a snoop and, and what happens he like moves like one pavement square each i don't know that's up to you <laughs> But that is like Maybe, super intelligent man. millionaire snail, super intelligent immortal millionaire snail. I mean, I've is... already I've already thought of what I'd do to the snail. Well, there you go. That could be the that could be the meta narrative. Um, Mel B says Jonas would be great for that. Who's that? Oh, Jonas is a bit. Jonas is like a friggin' amazing artist. Hold on a sec. Do I even have Instagram? I didn't know how that Instagram. Instagram. Actually, you know what? I'll find him on Twitter. He's in the chat, Rob. You should remember people who are in the chat. Uh, he's like a incredible oh, wow. cartoonist. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. The, I, I'm not thinking like this, Mel. I'm thinking more like black and white. Just you know something you could do in. 30 minutes you know. uh all right uh oh bogan chat here uh fenrir fire super bogan 2024 thank you fenrir yeah mo um, and mo and patrick are talking about backer kit i i can't stand it either to be honest um yeah you like you, you select what you want from the campaign and then 
at the end, this is a long time ago, maybe it's changed, at the very end of the campaign, you then go into back a kit and they're like, do you want this? Do you want this? What's your shipping address? Like, you just want that shit done and over with. You don't yeah. have to go back and do uh, it again. Butterbear has a good point. I think crowdfunder is a good middle of the road option before really everyone's starting their own website. I think you're right. I think I think it's probably if you've got an audience, if you've got a YouTube channel that's reasonably sized, go for your own website because whether you're going to um you know crowdfunder or whatever it is lucentwakingdream.com it's not that much of a difference they have i don't think they have much traffic going there as it is um but the the, the difference is yeah if you have the the audience size to, to get there then it's kind of worth your while taking that extra time to build your own site and make more money but yeah if you don't have that if you can't justify that sort of expense and you don't have a name then um yeah crowdfund is probably a good a good uh a good alternative so that, that that might be how it ends up going and again it's all about giving people an option because now there are people who are really really not wanting to back indiegogo because they appear to be taking a pretty obvious anti-cg stance yeah late um and then there part three home page crowdfund no platform fees well it's not that there's no platform you still pay a fee like i don't think i mean unless you're unless you're buying proprietary uh um unless you're creating proprietary software i mean most people are going to be going through shopify uh where there is a a fee attached to that it's like two percent or something like that and then there's credit card fees and stuff like that and then the exposure is limited to your audience um but uh and there's also i think i think the, the plug-in for spotify shopify can you hear that rain yeah it man is, it, it's, it's, it has been insane here with weather today it's been absolutely crazy it's so annoying i'm gonna have to put in two friggin things which i hate doing this feels weird now i can hear now i hear myself inside my own skull <laughs> yeah that, that's that's how i felt about it mo i won't right. read mo that big says out. back a kit is like you know how you already did the tedious job of entering in all your information when you back well do it again and i'm like suck a dick yeah that's how i feel but it has uh, hey to be fair it has been like five years since i've used back a kit maybe it's not as horrendous as it used to be uh i no it's it's pretty well thankfully when i use it all i could do is just like no i could just hit no change mm. you know it's like just take what's already in there uh, i didn't have to re-enter anything uh so it was fine i think i did that for the scrollings book from max smith um yeah so but i said maybe you could do all three uh yeah, get out this did someone respond to that who was it ink spot says that's the ticket joshua says that's what i was going to say all three sjw's don't want us anywhere they don't even want great creators to feed your children by using an independent crowdfunder so we should be everywhere in their face look at twitter did you ever think it would change yeah that's true you know a year ago twitter was a you know could have gone either way youtube's still like that youtube it's still you know you never know one day you're going to wake up and your channel's going to be gone um so yeah this is this is what i'm thinking if people can do go on all of them mm. indiegogo kickstarter crowdfunder and your own site and but the, the problem with that obviously so the, the pro to that is well you're getting in front of the most people possible the con yep. is each individual campaign is obviously going to be lower or different you're going to sort of dilute that number so to fight that and that was mentioned earlier by butterbear and rob you had the same idea independently is first your <laughs> it's not a competition rob i mean who's to say was it you was yes it Spain? was no, it, it was me? me i had, a, I had it a week probably, ago. it was probably me um already yeah, already you, you probably got it from me somehow 
uh, you just sensed it, that that's what I was thinking. And uh, so you could have your homepage site. So mine would be thelucentcomic.com and then right up there at the top, whatever it is, you know, the crowdfund, and there's the number. And the number is a aggregate of all the different campaigns and it updates obviously live. Uh, yep. That would be the the bee's knees. That would be it the also thing. it also be cool to have like a widget or something that had like you know the Indiegogo thing and then the Kickstarter campaign and then the Shopify and then you can like flick through them and see how each of them's going. You know that would be kind of cool. Yeah, this rain is doing my head in. It's not it's not like quiet rain. It's this. Vietnam, middle of summer, torrential, uh, you know, I'm going to put a hole in your head kind of rain. And then every now and then it'll turn into hail. It's uh, it's crazy. Uh, Butterbear says, I've been pushing Crowdfunder since Bancroft's video on them. Let's go over there and check out Crowdfunder. See if we recognize anyone who's over there. I, I don't know, man. I, I, is it just me that I kind of find like this kind of time exciting for us? You know, like we, we've been on Indiegogo. We've been there a long time. That it's, It was great. It's not fantastic at the moment. And they're forcing us to explore different options. Well, we got complacent. We got comfortable. And yeah. And now we're... Um, kind of paying the price for that with it's not that we've been caught flat-footed uh a lot of people have been working on this stuff in the background but there's nothing that's solid yet um i mean we're just kind of lucky that a site like crowdfunder was already in development ray says he can build that provided he has the api i don't know what api is right yeah neither do i but i'm just um, on to my head he can do it he can build it they will come uh, yeah it can be done we have the technology let's have a look here but, so I but saw, it's cool um, mike like you know we're going to be able to do stuff like paypal payments and stripe payments and all that kind of stuff that we couldn't this, do before yeah 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 now that is the exciting stuff payment those, plans, just for the payment payment plans. plans. yeah buying yeah. four steps instead of yeah exactly man four hundred dollars you get to spend a hundred dollars once every couple of weeks this is not a massive number for private american eighty dollars raised mm -hmm. um so yeah it, it really does seem to me like there's not huge amounts of traffic being diverted here beside the traffic that you divert yourself um so it really is an alternative to having it on your own site essentially that's how that's how i'm looking at it uh, this is Mo, Mo says, design. send Ray the link. He can explain APIs, then send Jasper the link and uh, let's talk digital printing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. We've also got Phil Diaz in the house. Um, just before this seemed like you felt you were spinning your wheels a bit. Yeah, there was a bit of that going on because there was no real impetus there was nothing there was the, the fire wasn't really lit under our butts it was more of a that's an interesting idea that's really cool what eric july did will that work for us we don't really have that sort of audience that you know we, we just kind of there's a i mean we don't we can call a spade a spade there's a lot of navel gazing going on especially on this channel on your channel and just in cg in general um but yeah you know actually getting out there and doing things and innovating uh yeah usually it takes some kind of spark to make that happen i was going to go look at something and now i forgot what i was going to look at let's just start checking on how the buttons are going if we've got them any more backers let's have a quick look here oh yeah another three good job mike well done or away from 800 wow yeah, well, just, good stuff. Just, this is the gift that keeps on giving bankrupt button. um real all right well if i've forgotten what i'm going to talk about then why don't we just friggin do something start, start drawing start coloring change those lights let's do that that's easy for you change to do. the lights yeah all change right. the lights let's 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 try out the red and the yellow and see what one's better um i i was a little i don't want to say concerned i was curious about what brian had to say though about cg not liking the fact he went on zoop 
what what did you think about that mike i went and watched his video as much as a, as of it as i could i didn't watch it sorry brian yeah. i didn't watch just... it uh it's still it, it's coming though it's coming so yeah uh, I, I, I don't know like Patrick says zoop is poop <laughs> Uh, all right, what have I got here? I'm gonna inspect what I've done. So, what did you think of that, Mike? Is that a concern? No, not really. Do you think it? Do you think it is like the general feeling of people from CG, or do you think it's just a small group of people that feel that way? I don't. Th I think it's always been a small group. I think the majority feeling of the backers has been: go where you like, make your money. Uh, I may not necessarily follow you over there, but I've haven't, you know, I'm not going to stop you. In fact, go over and do it. I think that's the majority take. Um, uh, but yeah, that doesn't, yeah, just because that's the majority take, that doesn't mean that people are going to, um, yeah, like go over and follow you. Essentially, uh, I don't know who was giving Brian crap i mean i don't know if you wanted to call them out or whatever but uh there will always be a contingent of people in cg who were pretty like died in the wool uh you know they they don't they don't suffer anything so um yeah you know I, i'm not saying it wouldn't happen i'm just like i don't think it's the majority and it, i it's not something i would lose any sleep over yeah, I, you know, I, I would just like to know, like, is it, who is it? Is it those people that, they're, are they the insane people? Then that's fine. You don't have to worry about it. I guess you don't have to worry about it anyway, but, you know, it'd just be interesting to know if it's even, you know, a consideration. American well, Bliss Brian... is coming out, like, in an hour. Oh, yes. Yes, I forgot about that. Dave's book is, and he's, well, he's one who's like, he's become very anti Indiegogo. He's not like, he's like, no, I'm not using him anymore. They can F off. Um, he'll be doing, going elsewhere, but he's, he's from Kickstarter originally. So I'm, I mm. guess he'll be going back to Kickstarter, which is, again, poses other issues because there's still lots of people in, in CG who are like, no, I'm not doing Kickstarter. Which is why I think options is the options. really the only yep. way forward. Yeah, I agree. Um, because I, you know, I heard every, I listened to everyone's arguments when we were talking about this. I read all the comments, uh, and I think, yeah, I mean, I understand everyone's arguments. They all seem pretty valid for the most part. Um, and yeah, if you if you don't give people options, then you're probably going to lose support from certain people. So like certain people aren't going to back on Kickstarter. Certain people aren't going to back on Indiegogo. Um, certain people don't want to back on your homebrew site. They might be worried about security. Uh, as long as, I think as long as you use something like Shopify, which goes through Stripe, uh, I don't know why there would be any reason for concern, but, Again, I'm not going to question someone's, you know, that's how, that's how they feel. That's how they feel. So, you know, give them that choice. Yeah, I mean, one of, like, the only concerns, I guess, would be for, like, new creators, like, first-time creators, I think it would be, it's going to be a lot harder for them. If, um... It's going to be almost impossible, actually. Yeah. I don't think it's a viable option, frankly, mm -hmm. for most new creators i just don't yeah. think that's that's the thing patrick hit 100k didn't he on his his campaign that's amazing man congratulations yep. absolutely absolutely bonkers that's another one to add to the list now it's crazy yeah there should be a ring or something that you get the 100k club i know All right. Now, how am I going to do? I've got to think about this. I think what I have to do is I have to do this, and I have to do this, 
I have to do this. Shouldn't be this hard, Mike. It really I have shouldn't. to do this. Well, it is Rob. That's the thing. You think get the eraser are... out? No, because I, I don't want to lose my I don't want to lose my awesome line work here. Obviously. It looks like a fly's eye. Good. That's what I was going for. All right. All right. Okay. Good. Now I go back here and then I do this. I just figure, oh no, I've, I've screwed that up. Um, this is what, this is what everyone comes here for. Sing. You asked me to do this is why I don't do this sort of stuff live like, because I asked you to change lights. I'm not asking you to draw the statue thinking. of David. <laughs> I can't think and be live at the same time. You must all know that by now. You must. What's up, Engineer Wrecker? Uh, it is better than Mario. Yeah, you're right. That that game nearly that game nearly took me. Let's just say that. All right, look, 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 I've done it. I think I've done it. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Apply. Now look, now you'll see instead of having the lights on, I've got one of them has that there. Hey, hey, okay. Uh, I was I actually I sent Shant a, uh, a a DM. I missed his I missed his stream this morning, mm. which I always do because it's too early. I said I'm in awe of how you can uh, talk and function and be really succinct and germane and interesting and inspiring while you're sketching out ideas and painting mm. it's like my brain just i mean you can hear it now it's just like <laughs> there's sand in the cogs mate it's you not have it's no not idea working. about sand in the cogs let me tell you <laughs> you have no idea are you what do you mean you've got sand in your cogs yes 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 oh. Lots of sand. Um, Mike, you're going to be able to do just a, a tremendous amount of artwork and drawing and lucenting very shortly. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, are you still here in the chat? I don't know how that's related at all. Well, because I don't know if he's like talked to everyone about what's going on with uh, Megacon, and I don't want to be. If he hasn't, I don't want to be the one to sort of break that news because it's not my news. Uh, uh, what do you say, Patrick? We'll just wait on that because it, 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 yeah, it obviously relates to my. Um, potential upcoming visit to the states which i hear a lot of people have been asking in the chat and i apologize if i have um been neglecting that i have i haven't been meaning to i mean i haven't been ignoring you i just don't you wish australia was either. closer to, to other places we're so far away from everything no it's it, it's good and bad you know we sort of we're sort of like a cool hidden place mm. at the bottom of the world but yeah in terms of travel and stuff it's a nightmare uh most says guys fun. the original creator of danny had a failed indiegogo campaign <laughs> oh my god is it still up can we look at it is it the baldo what's it called Uh, a few bad apples acting a fool at another con cough cough might have <laughs> effed up cons cg for a minute yeah well i mean i don't need to get into all that uh but that's essentially the situation um 
we ain't going to MegaCon. Mm. So um, that's the situation. And that was the plan. Uh, I was going to head over, um, hang with Patrick and everyone else, uh, Camel 2 at uh, MegaCon in March. Uh, it's not happening. Um, so now at the same time, M Mel has already organized a trip to France uh, that I cannot afford to take at this time. Mm -hmm. So I'll be staying here while um, Mel and the kids go to France in March for seven weeks. Uh, so yes, I will have copious amounts of time to work on my art and uh, campaign, hopefully. Um, boys whatever. night. Boys night. Yeah, we can have a poker. poker. Well, Rob, you live just as far away as the Americans do. Comparatively. <laughs> uh patrick says tampa bay comic con is looking good that's a good one uh graham is coming andy is going he mentioned he might go to tampa yeah and that would be in july and Rini as well says patrick so that's the plan at the moment um is that i would postpone my trip and obviously any uh meetup with you guys until july um which you know might be i don't know i, I i'm gonna guess it's gonna be friggin unbearably hot and humid in florida in july but i'll have to yeah, that's good for that. that's good for drinking though i guess so uh mo says mrs b should pre-record a skit where she has enough of your bullshit and says fix this now i'm going to france <laughs> she should uh oh patrick's already booked a boot yeah, he's in okay good patrick's a hustler right. well, patrick's a professional oh is that what it is yeah mm. so that's what you're seeing there that's i know it, it looks confusing all right um okay uh, let me get rid of this let's see what we're working with here 52 minutes to change some lights people new world record <laughs> <laughs> hey i'm working here hey eh? uh, look i've got they already come pre-lit how, how how does it look worse than before rob just oh ye of little faith mm. that's all i'm gonna say oh ye oh ye ye hang on wrong layer all right uh, okay yeah we, we've got to organize this uh melbourne catch up soon yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, doesn't that all hinge on D? Does it? I, I don't know. D can get down here. I think that's what we, we can't have. A, we can't have a Melbourne meetup without. We can't have an Aussie meetup without D. No. Uh, what about weird. says boys' night sword fighting? Hell yeah. <laughs> Mel knows what that is now. Yeah, fighting with swords. What else could it mean? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Now, here's the thing, Rob. Now I have to... Okay. Now I'm going to have to make a new black for this that I haven't got before. So it's going to take even longer than I anticipated. But I can't believe, like, how difficult this is. Like, it should not be this hard. Well, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Where's the... What's going on here? Why is that selecting everything? It shouldn't select everything. Ah, oh, it's because it's not connected. Because I'm an idiot. Awesome one says, bring that lass who you talked about on that couch. On oh, the feral bush pig. Oh, mate. Could you imagine the feral bush pig oh, reunion dead. 10 years later? 10? No, that happened in, that happened in like 97, 98. Oh, that's, that's, that's a while. This is an old story. <laughs> what about says, make a new black, you say? Yes. Uh, I do. I have to make some new black. <laughs> All right. I, now this should be good. Yeah, that's good. What's the bet that it, that it just looks shit and you go back to green? 
No, it's going to look good. I wouldn't do this if I didn't think I could do it. Mm. Um, I wouldn't have said it was a good idea. Uh, okay, I'm going to expand that. That two should probably do it. Oh my! They're, they've gone to eight hundred and four backers. They, they're gonna they're gonna beat my backer number here. Of course they are. Yeah. Mo says so. That's how you got the name Stabber. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Copy that. Now I'm back to thinking mode. What's up, Eric? I think what I have to do is now I've got to make a new layer. Paste that there. Hmm. Let me think, what, Rob. What shape is that, Mike? It's not even like what is that? It's not even a circle or an oval. It's some like it's an oval. <laughs> Obviously. It's a pretty shit oval. Why didn't you just use like an oval tool? Rob, have you not seen the whole thing is distorted? Like the whole look, it's all warped. I feel like you're making excuses, Mike. <laughs> I have to explain everything. All right. Okay. Now this should this I think this should work. Patrick says yeah. uh, you should animate this cover for promo use. Make the lights change, the building lights flicker, have her floating. I should do that. That would be cool. That that translates well, to have... that. That's a great idea that I'm not going to do. No, I could do that. I could do that, and I could actually, yeah, no, I could do that. I I will do that. Oh, How about God. that? <laughs> I've gotten in trouble saying I'm going to do things before. I know. I know. Um. All right. So now, okay. If I fill this, da, 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 look, apply. Hey, you've got three black lights. Look, and now I put them together. I got there my three black lights, and oh, I need to have white lights. What do these have? Hang on. <laughs> Hi, oh, yeah. says, no, I can excellent just do that. reverse psychology, Rob. <laughs> All right. I can take that. I can take that. This is a good problem solving exercise, Rob. Thank you for that. I didn't know I'd be doing this tonight. It's no like wonder, a, an no wonder, exercise. No wonder Mel mows the lawns because it would take you like three days just to get it done. <laughs> Look. Now these, I can turn them on and off. They're all different lights. And I also have them in black. Okay? That's how you prefer them. All right. Well, as it's been said. Uh, Ran Nada, crickets over here on Rumble. Yeah, I haven't even mentioned Rumble. I've been neglecting. It's, it's a bit of a, a bit of a weird stream tonight. Uh, we were supposed to be doing camel i'm gonna I guess i'm gonna have to uh change the name of the thing you were supposed to be doing camel yeah mm. well boots and heels clip that and um but renata's over there so that's good uh okay uh now i gotta think now let's turn on the red light it's okay i'll laugh if this just does not work like it ruins now, the whole turn thing. on the red light that means i have to have the black on on the others correct i think that's what that means mel if you're there how how do you go through life with michael this must be extremely frustrating for you <laughs> all right all right so we've got that now Okay. And I should be able to turn this off. All right, look, look, look. Oh, all right. Okay. Zoom out. Zoom out. All right. All yeah. right. Okay, that worked. Now I need to make it look not shit. 
make it make turn the lights on essentially mm. not just be a flat red blob so now i go up to my um red light layer and let me turn my lights on and so i need to turn off green greens off what's and up Dave? Let me just double check. Oh, what you're, happened? You're Did witnessing I... history in the making here, Dave. Bancroft has changed the lights. Wait <laughs> for it. It's going to blow your mind. Not it's green. Be... Not oh yellow, God. but they're gonna now crazy. red. Crazy. And he's just All right. You ready? Just... And the Lord said, let there be light. Oh. And there was light. All right, I zoom out. Let's let's have a look. All right, the red light. Yeah, I mean, that looks heaps better, I reckon, dude. Okay, let me just save that because that was a lot of faffing to get that effect. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to lose all this progress. All right. While you're doing that, I'll bring up uh, this because it's closing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm what? saving it so that I can do a history, so we can go back and forth and see. Uh, Jaro says, end the stream. It doesn't get any better. Than this. <laughs> this is, this uh, is what you sec. all pay $5 a month yeah, yeah. for. This, this is the, quality. this is the kind of comic book art insight that you, you won't get anywhere else. Uh, okay. So there's the red light mm -hmm. or green light. Okay red light yeah yeah green light isn't that from a um it's a song actually red light no it's from a mission impossible movie I uh, think it... dave is applauding it make a variant up. green light issue <laughs> it's really good. Dude. <laughs> all the different lights <laughs> We could make the different lights, different variants. That's the hilarious. funny thing is, people would probably buy it too. <laughs> Sumo passed out for the last 20 minutes. How far did Bancroft get on his coloring? Not very um, far, Sumo. Awesome one likes the green. Uh, green. Mike, you, you know you still have to do yellow. Like we can't we can't. Oh my end god. There. All right. Uh okay. So um let but me with show the, this yellow, off. the yellow is more amber, yeah. Yeah. Let me uh, it, it let can't me... be the can't be the same as this yellow. Actually, it could be like this yellow. Is that too is no that just too try yellow? it? No, just try it. And then you can uh, tweak it if need be. Uh I'm I'm sharing this, Mike. There's 20 minutes left uh on American Bliss part one. Am I reading that right? I am. Father's Pride Part 1. That's Dave Brink's book. He's in the house. Uh, if you haven't, go check it out. Consider backing it if you're into hot chicks and superhero type stuff. Uh, cool character designs, boobs. You know, it's got it all. Everything you could ever ask for. No nips, though, Bancroft. He, he takes he takes it from your side of the fence. Nipples. Yeah. You don't need to get gratuitous. That's a great shot there. Look at that. Fantastic. You can see. He likes the good old uh, up, up shot. Mm. Eric Grant's heading off. Uh, thank you for hanging out, Eric. Catch you, Eric. All right. All right. How is Mike going? Uh, yeah, I see. just got to remember. How do I turn these on? All right. Yes. Uh, all right. I'll, all make, right. I'll make a new layer. So I'll call that last another... layer red. It's going to be um, another 30 minutes just to get the yellow yeah. lights, guys. This one will be called, is it yellow or orange? I will call it amber. Amber light. Amber on. Okay. So in amber on, obviously, you want to have, uh, now what's going on here? How do I put that thing back on? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. Um, 
D's back. D, when when are you free to come down to Melbourne, man? Let us know, and we'll figure out some something around that. All right. So in this one, we just want the yellow showing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not right. What have I done? Do I need to? Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. I'll call that amber. And now, now you know what I think. I think you need to have red and yellow together to make the amber. I think that's how you have to do it. Um, all right. So. We've got another four backers on Kozor, by the way, Bancroft. Excellent. He's thinking end of Feb, early March. Are we thinking that late? What do you think, Rob? Well, no, but I mean, if that's the only time he can come down, we can do. Something we can do it. We can do two. We don't have to know, like. Yeah. It's, it's not like we can only it's see. It's going to be a handful of guys. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so, um, all right. Let me turn on the yellow light, if I can. <laughs> Mo says Rob was hoping for Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right, here comes the yellow light. Ready? But that's too yellow. Yeah. So we, yeah, I need to mix in. So I need to. No, because I need to mix in some red. Oh, hang on, yeah, I can. I can. Uh, right, zoom. Uh, just zoom one out. sec. It just looks like a normal white light at that so far. Right. That's not bad though, man. Like I, I don't mind that. Yeah, but it, it no, nah, it doesn't look right. It needs to be a little bit more. So let me just um, yeah, add a new layer. The color in general, yellow looks pr pretty decent Copy, in this scenario. Uh, layer style. I'll paste the layer style here. Now this one, uh, amber white. Oh my god, I'm making so many layers. This is this is blasphemy. Uh, okay. Just delete uh, the right. whole thing and start again from scratch. No, I will not be doing that. <laughs> um, oh, damn it. Okay, all right. Now let's have a look here, see what this does. This might make them too red, but I should be able to um, take this down. Or maybe I put it underneath. <laughs> I would show up in a blow just for you, Rob. I'm like, what? In a bow. blow? Bow, that is. Oh. Bow, that is. <laughs> right. I was getting a bit worried there, D. I, well, getting... I didn't think it was going to be that, not going to be that kind of party. <laughs> um, all right. I might have to do some tweaking here. Ooh. Uh, awesome one says, make it a multi-picture 3D, change the angle and change the light. That would be sick, dude. I'm not going to do that. That's no, like... That's too much That's a work. whole nother level. All right. Now I need to... You know what I need to do? On the... This one, you can't see any of the cool line art that I had in there, which I you can't believe I've do. done this to myself. What do you mean? That you I've made you, yeah, that I've made you change light colors on some piece of art. Sumo says, add some electronics into the cover. The reader can press to change the light color. <laughs> that would be sick too. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a little too intense. I think the red was the winner for me. All right. Can, can, can we go through them? Can we do a poll, right. Bancroft? Can you do a poll? I guess we can. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, plus, start a poll. All right. Uh, okay. A poll Which that will have absolutely light. no outcome on what Bancroft decides to do. Red 
amber or green? Ask. Okay, uh, that's the first poll I've ever done. I think I didn't really, I didn't normally do polls. All right. Um, okay, we, so that's amber. A, yeah, can we go from go from green to red? Let's, let's go all the way through. Uh, there's green, but green comes with. Hang on. Might be able green to comes with the glow. Off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. There's green. That's bad. Mm -hmm. There's green. Now I just got to find red. It's down here somewhere. It, I don't it, like it ain't green. Easy. I just got to find where I saved it. Where the hell did I save it? Oh my god! Come on. Uh, sink, soak it in. Soak in the red, or uh, the green. Where the hell is the red? I think the problem with the green is it's the only green, so you're looking at it. Oh, there it is. Okay. There's the red. No, amber, then red. Oh. You've got to do it in the order, Bancroft. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Green. Sorry. Yes. Green. Yes. Amber, which is way too bright. I would need to tuck tone that down. That's like... See, the, the good thing That's about that is it blends in with your other lights and therefore isn't too distracting. But is that is that too much yellow for you? Yeah, but so does the red. Um, so does the red. It blends in as well. But okay, not not as go. much as the red does. I mean, the yellow does. All right, and red? Right. And red is here. And I can up I, I can like up the, the glow on the red. Yeah, like, I, I like can the make red. that I can make that glow more because it's not very because I didn't want it to glow because I didn't want it to glow too much because it was a little bit overpowering, but I can I can up that. To me, it's red. It's red, red yeah. all day. Yeah, I think it's better uh, like storytelling wise too. It's like it's like red stop, you know. Red yeah, they were stopped there. Out. And now mm. they're getting pushed back. There's no yeah. one in the middle of the intersection, so it makes sense. <laughs> D, <laughs> D says do one of each of the different lights. And when I originally drew this piece, it had I originally drew it, it had people there who were waiting, and it was so it had to be green. I was like, well, that doesn't really make sense, but the people aren't there now, so um, yeah, red actually makes sense. All right, do we get to see? Can I? How do I see the poll? Uh, bring it up. It th do, do you want me to tell you? Uh, oh no, I, can, I just have to click on it. I mean, it's it's clear winner, sixty percent. Yeah, let's end the poll. Uh, Fifty nine percent red. Uh, oh, there you go. Which light? There you go. That's it then. Red it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna amp up the the glow on it give it a bit more oomph but uh yeah i mean it clearly Good. clearly from my suggestion you, you owe me a cover now <laughs> that's how that works doesn't it <laughs> michael deacher uh says red is an emotional color yeah sumo says red is the best plus it means hose are open for business <laughs> Red light district. I get that. I like it. Are you going to do like some reflection of the red light around or not that much? You're not really going to see that because she's going to be blue and that's yeah. going to be about, that's going to be hitting all this. So yeah, you know, at, at the moment, this is all still in the native colors. And by that, I mean, this is what it would look like pretty much if you were standing there. It's a cool in, piece, man. I dig it. In thingo, but I like to add a little bit of atmosphere. Thank you, Rob. I like to add a bit of atmosphere. It's she's gonna be, I mean, she's teleported there, and in this version of it, she's warping, you know, things. I tell you what, here's a little secret because there's only 30 odd people watching. This is a representation of. Which is like it's a another rep hang on now I've got to wait till the program opens. I apologize. Actually, no, I might not have to. Well, hang on. Um, well, how about just quickly then? This has 
seven minutes left. If anyone hasn't checked it out, go back it now because it's seven minutes left and then it's it's gone down. So uh, go check it out. Someone will chuck the link in, in chat, surely. Uh, go back it. It'll be cool just to get one more backer for him. would be awesome. Just one more. All right. So this, yeah, is a symbolic representation or maybe they're both just you know i just want to show they they're connected to uh this which is currently opening do you see the connection like uh in in terms of composition okay so there's gonna distracted yeah that's awesome yep this is so like there's lightning there. Now there's not going to be mm -hmm. all that lightning on the cover because I don't want to have lightning going all the way up the, through the thing. But there will be a lightning effect there. So you can see like these are like the waves, the buildings, and then they're like twisted over like that as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is in painted death, and this is in this is the cover to waking <laughs> dream. It's it happens at the end of waking dream. Uh, so, um, yeah, like I do that a lot where copy, I repeat pop, the composition. From previous stuff. Yes, I do that too. Mm -hmm. uh, saves them a lot of time. Um, and, but I, I do that to like show the connection. Um, yeah. So I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it. Uh, I'm not going to, so I'm just going to save that with the red. And then I think I'm just going to do some flatting. Phil wants to like it, dude. I, I don't know if he wants the link to this or the link to um, Dave's campaign. I'm not sure. Well, let's send him the link. He, if he wants to come in, I mean, he'll come in. If he doesn't, he won't. Because uh, I'm just going to be flatting from now on. So uh, I've spoken to Phil recently. It's gonna be flatten some camel. Camel, my camel. Can I really want to see just one more backer? That would be nice. I was hoping the camel would be here so that he could guide me on some of these uh, things that he's done. But I think that was, I think he's gone sleepy time. He missed the spot. Yeah, I know. These are his inks. So originally, like, he gave me the original inks, but now they're sort of changed up a little bit. So he's testing my OCD. Um, someone asked earlier, how did Camel get you to color a thing for him? And I said, well, I didn't say anything, but I'll say it now. He made me an offer I couldn't refuse. It was one with money and not sex. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Uh, Hyper Wizard says, Rob, as a nipple fan, if a book had sexual content with the point of it was comedy and it had pixelated censorship, would you feel cheated as a customer? Yes. But that's just me. Look, he's flipped his, uh, he's flipped his chevron here. Oh, God. Come on. Oh. Chuck your, chuck your back end number in guy from Red Bank and we'll shout you out if you backed it. This is you, Rob. Dude, it is crazy how many people draw me into their car, their comic books with. I know. Did you see that? It's Did like you see that new piece from Company Men? It's just crap. Oh, oh, two dude, backers. You two you backers. You guys are legends, man. Boop. Phil. Phil. Backer 211. Sick. That's awesome, boop, man. Boop. Yeah, I, I just wanted the link to uh, American Bliss. Yeah, I thought so. But, you know, Bancroft wanted you here. Appreciate it. <laughs> I like having Phil on. Yeah. I'm trying to find Kimasabi shared a piece of art of his um upcoming 
uh, company men, and I was like, that is Rob. Why is, is Rob, Rob in Kimasabi's? <laughs> You're talking about Abbott. That's not Rob. What? Yeah, that well, the guy with the mohawk. Yeah, Abbott. They're all me. There's uh, another one. Now too. I can't find it. I mean, I I found a picture of of the guy Abbott, but I can't find the specific. Actually, you know what? It might have been on his on his actual campaign page because I was on the Company Men campaign page. Have you have um, you seen Chemo's newest uh, videos? His review videos? No. No. No, they're good. Why? What's he? What's he up to? Uh, I'll pull one up. And give me a Has he gone crazy? He's uh, he's a madman. Mm. Is he a mad lad? He's a mad. Oh man, he's a mad lad. I can't believe you haven't heard about this, Rob. Is in the updates? No, I don't know where it is. I mean, it's just the same old... I mean, you know, I guess it kind of looks like you, but this is not the one that I saw. I saw one that I was like, holy crap, that's Rob. Mm. Uh, where is it? Share screen. But this is a new... This is from his upcoming um, thing. Like, you put on some Oakley sunglasses. Dye my beard. I mean, it's yeah, like see, this one on doesn't that. look this. This one isn't the one, but there was another one that is. And when I see it, I will. I'll be sure to. Um, save it so we can share it with the people. So uh, Jasper's in the chat. Jasper, you missed a 30 minute discussion on um, digital versus offset printing. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Hell, Jasper. You didn't really. So this is what uh, he's been what reviewing. He's been re reviewing a book called Night Twink. You guys hear, you ever hear tell of this book? Uh, no. Negative. No. It's called Night Twink. It's about. Sounds right up Rob's alley though. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. You don't even know. Um, it, it's about a young man who becomes a vigilante that saves uh, homosexuals in Bang Alley. You know, a bunch of. Uh, gay lads will go to an alley and have sex, and then when they get assaulted, Night Twink will save them. So let, let's hear a little ep excerpt of what Chemo uh, so thinks about. Them. Why don't they just go to someone's house if they're having problems with this with this alley? What's the thrill in that, Rob? Okay, yes, yeah, sorry. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Clearly, I don't know how this stuff works. He says gay sometimes feel like animals in zoos. Behind the bars of how people perceive them, being ogled and laughed at. He points to fetishization of skin color and race, and how that alienates and already alienated people within the community. It's actually some pretty good writing, touching on problems that are inherent in this community, problems that ex exist that they know about, but individually are changed. This then, as Night Twink, oh, being just a God. single person, can actually do <laughs> something about see that. problems in the gay community <laughs> and real as a symbol for his people. He then catches the eye of some random dude with a Rob Hawk, and we get this scene. Maybe it's the two vodkas I've had. Or the fact I'm a massive oh, slut. But we get right to it. He's strong. He forces me round and thrusts my hole onto his tongue. He instantly explores deep. He's an eager pig. He's too horny to wait. He bends all right, me all right, over. Enough of that. Enough. He's... Oh, my God. Trying to, trying to keep my channel here, uh, Phil. <laughs> Did uh, <clears throat> thank you, uh, Rob, thank you, uh, Chemo, for um, wow. bleeping that out. Wow, yeah. censor, for, uh, censoring it. Wow. Why did he choose Rob though? I don't know. I just thought, you know, I thought you'd know, Rob. I thought you'd like to know. Mm. I think, mm. yeah, I think you do need, I think you need to have a discussion with uh, Chemo there. <laughs> Rob's at, at a loss. Can you imagine when you came on to make comic books on the internet, Rob? That's where your face would end up. I know. I mean, how how disrespectful. We're gonna have to have fisty cuffs now. <laughs> that's uh, that's something. 
Did you do something to upset chemo? I don't think so. But, you know, I, I talk and I upset people even when I don't mean to. It's just how, it, true. how I go. I think Maybe it was because the thinks... guy had a mohawk. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's Let, let's movie. let's hope it's that. You're the um, you're the poster boy for uh, Rob Hawks. So, naturally, <laughs> unreal. <laughs> Guy from Red Bank says this makes you want to leave CG. Oh no. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Uh, Mo Big says Kimmer just did that because the guy had a Rob Hawk. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Um, it was, well, it was an homage, if anything. Yeah, keep in mind that book was not a CG book. Of, yeah, you know, I, I hope. And not. he finished the finished the video by saying he would not review the next issue of it uh, because it was basically quality pornography. quality issues. Yeah. Um. Hmm. It reminds me of you remember when Wanger used to read uh, dog. a certain book, the dog book. Yeah, dog N. Dog N. Legendary book. Yeah, he used to read that, which is crazy to think that YouTube would allow that. I don't think it would allow it anymore. I think that book did really well. I'm not even talking about. It's a story. Well, the 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 book is called Dog N Word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's a it's a harrowing tale of um it's kind of a revenge tale, I guess. Correct, yeah. And uh and Wanger and crew used to um <laughs> that video sent <laughs> He used to used to uh, yeah they used to they used to re read it he used to read it episode of I think that led to Adam Post leaving their uh, the show their, yeah. their show oh really I think it did yeah it was too spicy for him mm -hmm. he got the last laugh he's like crushing YouTube at the moment that's right have you seen that video Bancroft where there's like a group of Karens trying to say that the word Karen is is worse than the N-word. Have you seen that? Are they actual Karens? Like, they're, that's their name, or they're just Karens? No, just like, Karens. Okay. The group of, like, soccer mums saying, you know, the Karen word is more offensive than the N-word. And, like, one of the words is bleeped out. <laughs> it's like the N-word's bleeped out. Like, well, it's not, it's not actually the case then. Bill, <laughs> you, you avoid drama like the plague. How do you do it? Well, this is what I do. I, I go on people's shows and then mm -hmm. I show um, other people uh, like Kimo Sabi videos and then that creates drama. So it deflects. Ah, mm. So you, you create drama by putting two people against each other. Adjacent. Smart. Yeah. Mm. No, I just, uh, I ain't got time for that. You know? But yeah. sometimes you need like a to vent about, uh, you're like, oh man. Maybe I should be in some drama. And then you just go in to a, a camel stream and uh, talk about how he's in a wheelchair. And then I feel better about myself, you know? Yeah. Like, imagine Come imagine on. setting up a stream for someone coloring their own work and them not even showing up. That's dramatic. <laughs> camel. Hello? Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? Gosh. Good. What are you doing? Uh, I'm uh, I'm flatting. I had a oh, I had okay. one of those days. Oh, that was so good. I just want to like relax. I'm happy you're here because there might be some points where I have questions. There were uh, uh. There were a couple of things I had to like slightly redraw and adjust. So I was like, yeah, we've, to yeah, I've noticed and... that. Yeah. 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 We've, we've found a few little, little places here and there. Yeah. Like I his think... shoulder. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think you should show Phil and Camel the, the traffic lights, Mike. I don't think they witnessed the magic that the traffic lights. They saved it and closed it now. I won't no. be able to easily. I think I saw the traffic lights. In the... I won't be able to easily get them back up. 
shockwave thing. Yeah. I, I like this knife head guy, Camel. This guy? Yeah. That guy? That's the mosquito. No, that's mosquito? Mosquito. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's got a big nose. Hmm. What you been up to, Camel? I was sleeping. And mm, I just woke that's up. What we figured. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we figured. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long couple of days working, yeah. working hard. So working nine to five. I uh... not working like nine to nine the next day. I could not get up this morning. Yeah, I think I got up at I don't know like six o'clock or something, which is really mm. late for me. Oh yeah, I put window sills in because it was like, wow, well, it looked a little empty. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's looking good. It's looking good. I can't find your stream. I'm trying to find it so I can hide say hi to the, the chat chatonians. Well they can hear you. Um Yeah, you use your up. voice. Yeah, no, I like I like to text them, you know. I like to be like, oh, hi, I'm here. It's called color and boots in here. Why does it have the the? It doesn't have the right um, the right thumbnail on it. I don't know why. Uh, I'll put the link in the chat for you. How about that? I know. I'm just gonna text it. I, I'll find it. I'll find it. There it is. I found it. Twenty six people watching. What are people sleeping? No, everyone's um. Yeah, they're closing out buttons on John's. Yeah, but they're we're hard. claiming all the. We're claiming yeah. all the um, the backers, the backers, as per as per usual. We've got about fifty so far. Yeah, we're doing well. Mm. Here's a topic for you guys, and since, this is perfect since Camel's here, and he used to be like uh, one of those movie stars or whatever. So, uh, I just got a the the rewards for backing a Casey Jones fan film that my buddy did. Mm -hmm. And they did blue comes with a Blu-ray and a video uh, video box and a real video. And it's a production by this company called Chromatic Phantom. I just actually just filmed a video unboxing. I'm going to be posting this week. But look at that. How cool is that? It's like real yeah, it's on VHS. Yeah. Video. Yeah. That's some. That's so cool. You'll never be able to watch it. No, I, my girlfriend's got one of those VHS things. So. Is she sixty? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not sixty, but Phil's dating the grandmas. <laughs> even my even my mom got rid of her um, VHS player. Eventually. To be fair, her parents recently gave it to her because she has a bunch of videotapes. They did like this yeah, game well, well, like they just threw out their video player and gave it to her. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, that's cool. what do you guys think about doing uh fan films of our characters one day? Yeah. You guys want El Pimpo busts? I, I you know who you know what I want to do? I want to meet um what's his name? Cleon Cleon? Bra Cleon what's his Bra name? Liam what? Brown. Your, your guy, the, the freaking... Yeah, yeah, I want to meet him. I want to get him I, on. I want I want to hear Camel. the stories. Are you still in he was Well, he was on an episode of the game show once. Uh, oh, wait, was he actually there? There? No, he was, he in, was the in the chat. He was in the yeah. chat. That's right. Okay. I, I want to get him on. Camel I want to remake Platooth, but with El Pimpo Maximo voice. That's that's a bridge too far, I'm afraid. Yeah, I, don't to, I don't think we need to retread old territory. Yeah, come um, on. It was last week. You're making it make seem like shit. it was years ago. Let's make new terrible shit, not old terrible shit. Did you guys um, check out the, the chat awards this week? Yeah. Yeah, I won. Oh, congrats, man. Thank you. What uh, you won? I'm uh, the ambassador. ambassador. Yes. Uh, CG's ambassador, three years running. Dude, it's a three peat. That is a three peat. No one's done that yeah. before. No, especially considering it's the uh, the know, third, third, third annual 
installment of the show. You got to keep it running next year. I think it's fine. I for three years running, I've been snubbed in every single category. So, <laughs> oh. no, I'm proud about that. Yeah. Mo says, "Are you doing the wrenches this year, Bancroft?" Ooh, of course. I mean, am I going to give anything away for them? It's unlikely. Well, they're on back order for the I'm first. Be holding one, right? them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're still waiting for the first ones. Still waiting. Well, that's this, what makes them more special. This is the first year they're doing uh, little certificates for the awards, so you're going to get yeah, uh, you can hang it up, Bancroft. Yeah, Stugall reached out to me, Ooh. and um, and uh, he's going to send me out something, which is very cool, very nice, very happy. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Jasper is not happy with the direction of the stream. He says, I'm listening to the earlier, more riveting part of the stream. Rob's got <laughs> a lot of ideas today. Um, yeah, Rob's, Rob's been firing on all cylinders lately. I think it's because I visited him and uh, he just. I don't know. That was fun. Did you Your see kids that tell? So nice. I did. So yeah. Well behaved. That was awesome. Everyone, tell you guys. everyone always says that about other people's kids, though. <laughs> No, you know how like you know how like some people's kids are, are just coconuts, right? Your kids are not. They're really nice. To reflect nice kids. Their parents. Yeah, I agree. No, I, your, I, I your agree. Kid is nice too, Rob. Why why are you throwing your kid under the bus? I didn't say my kid wasn't nice, Mike. I'm just okay. saying your kid well, is that nice. That was implied. <laughs> Jesus. I think Rob, Rob was reinvigorated. You know, some of that uh, shine uh, rubbed off on Rob while you were over there. I think what you're coloring there, Mike, that's that's like a piece of steel. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. So yeah, you this is a little now? confusing here. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I was like. Let me just so this about. part here is steel. Yeah, it connects to the side, the left, and then the left again. It's like a big piece of like metal. All right. Rebar. Okay, so I'm like like this from here on. So if I yeah. take that there and then I go maybe down. make it like a red or a dark red or something. Yeah. All right, so I can actually um, get all of that. Uh, why is it? Oh, it's picking up. Took up the threshold too high. <clears throat> I just wanted to come on and say I backed uh, Dave's book. And uh, he'll be I'm gonna go back to the chat, guys. I know when I'm not okay. wanted here. Bye. I'm I'm perfectly fine with you here, Phil. I'm happy to have yeah. you here. I don't I can't speak for everyone else though. It's Bye, good, Phil. But I'm goodbye. Nice later, Phil. See ya. Bye, See sliding ya. to your DMs. Good. <laughs> See you, Phil. Um Camel, I watched. Uh, well, I started watching eight eighteen ninety nine. Oh yeah, how do you? What do you think of that? Yeah, yeah. I really like it. It's very intense. Yeah. Um, I've got proper ant with everything. I think I'm just going to make it blue for now. Um, but did you hear that someone is saying it's a ripoff of their graphic novel? <laughs> is it you <laughs> no i don't know what you're talking about i don't think it's very no no i, I, I just thought that the the redhead looked very ella ish esque yeah well I and mean, she's a little old to be ella but yeah I'm, i i suppose so um rob you don't you well, don't that's like but it's you know it's, that's it's that's fun. a typical story. It's like Event Horizon or Ghost Ship. It's just like there's a ship out in the water and it's abandoned. We don't know anything about it. Let's go take a look at it. It's that's I'm yeah. going to yeah, I'm gonna read the graphic novel because apparently it's not very long. And after I finish the show, if there's something there, because it's getting a lot of traction, this tweet that she's done is like how many likes on it? Uh, sixty-five thousand retweets. Yeah, a lot of traction. 
I might do it because it's comic book related. I might do a video on it. And uh, yeah. it's going to be interesting to see. Anyway. Like, you got to give me more than a black pyramid, though. You know, yeah. The well, eyes. yeah she's, also got, the she's eyes. also got the eyes. The like, eyes are a bit. Oh, no, not eyes. That's a bit like okay, but she said it's she said it's more about the whole essence of the story. Apparently, in her book, oh, they're on a ship. Okay, now I see it. They're on a ship yeah. and people die mysteriously, and they're hearing voices around the ship. And yeah, so that is so like that could be anything, you know. That's just like that's not yeah. Well, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm gonna read it. I'll 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 see. I gotta get an English version though. Triangle. People. What is it in French or German? Uh, it's Portuguese. Oh, Portuguese. Yeah, it's from Brazil. Um, I mean, what are the odds, though? Like, seriously, if someone copying this from Brazil, like, pretty um, minuscule, you'd think. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you, you can report back. I will. But either, is, how many episodes are you up to, Rob? like two yeah me too there's not much to go off just yet yeah i only watched the first one so far Can, i'll say something really controversial that everyone will disagree with i liked rings of power more than i liked house of the dragon i've seen neither come at you're me, bro. never getting back onto jeremy's show ever again come at me bro <laughs> uh yeah uh no i know i think they're both flawed um house of the dragon is a much more serious properly written uh show <laughs> thanks all of the all of the critiques about house of the dragon they're right so if you're like a big tolkien fan yeah you ain't gonna like it there's no way you're gonna like it but if you're just like, I just want to watch a TV show about elves and magic and whatever, yeah, it's fine, whatever. Um, Jasper says, no Megacon, yeah. Yeah, we ain't getting in. I don't even, I mean, I, I know Ethan was saying he might be going there, but I don't think so anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I'm definitely not going. Uh, Patrick's not going. All the other people that Patrick was organizing for aren't going. So Patrick made it seem like someone with an altercation has made it the case that the, the con well, that's run. that's the um, yeah, that's the suspicion. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, Frank the bunny says it's things like that that make it the perfect crime. No one would suspect Brazil. Uh, Jay Ryan says, I mean, the Star Trek series with the Tardigrade was completely ripped off of a game, so it happens fairly often. Yeah, I think it happens a fair amount. Uh, so, um, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it and find out, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Like there has to be specific things, though. It can't yeah. just be like the essence of the story is the same. Because I mean, that's just way too broad. Well, wait till it happens to you, Rob, and then you'll be like, "This is fucking bullshit." Oh, you know I will. <laughs> uh, Hyper Wizard is asking, "Is Mister Brooks going?" Uh, definitely, I would. I would wager he's definitely going. Camel has put in just an outstanding amount of work on this stream tonight. Let me well, just say. I think he's asleep. Yeah. I got up once early in the morning to help on one of the closeouts and yeah, I was not not helpful. I was not in a good way. Camel, Camel you know, we used to ask Camel about this every all these comic people staying up crazy hours. Because he's one of them as well. I um I don't know how he does it. He's like up till all crazy hours of the the night. Like Mike, we are nearly at two hours. Well, we're sixteen minutes away. Well, it's nearly seven thirty. Is my point. 
You want to go till 7.30. That's fine. Uh, awesome one says, Brooks has to show off his new spawn designs. Was it? Was he... Um, he was arcing up at someone. Oh, yeah, Tommy. Do you want to pull that up? Uh, uh, he was giving... He was giving uh, comics for everyone some lip. Oh, I, I like how you, you assume I know what's happening because I don't. Um, let me see if I can find it. Mark Brooks. Is it Mark Brooks? I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, Tompa, you know, everyone knows Tommy, Tommy Sarkinen. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Present. Because he has been pretty mum about CG ever since, you know, it all went off. Uh, so he's replying to, look, he's showing boots and heels. He's showing boots and that. heels in Glorious Rex. Uh, J- Jack the Ripper, and I'm not sure what this one is, but I don't think it's CG. Anyway, legit question. This is from Mark Brooks. Your tag says comics for everyone, and you say you promote indie comics, but primarily you only promote right-wing creators who are part of a certain politically motivated movement and not the hundreds of other indies. Why is that? Well, that's just not true. Tommy promotes everyone. Like he promotes all kinds of people, and that's his. That's his. He's just that's his confirmation bias. Um, Sumo says Camel's so adorable when he just wakes up like a little angel. Ooh. Uh, all right, here, here you go, Rob. D says Rings of Power is poorly written garbage run by incompetent a holes that got the job because JJ the the destroyer of. The destroyer, the destroyer of, franchise. of franchise, franchises put a good word in. House of Dragons has issues, but not as bad as Rings. Mm. House of Dragons, all the characters are boring. It's way too slow. And even when stuff happens, it's like meh. Frankie says, is it because, isn't it because all the leftists are mainstream? To- I mean, anyone who goes and looks at to- Tommy's um, feed knows. Yeah, Ronan of Okan. He promotes Kickstarters, he promotes crowdfunds, he promotes Indiegogos, he promotes all kinds of people. Uh, Osman says, if you did a whole stream on this, they're going after fans instead of creators now. That's crazy. Yeah, that'll work well. What? This is one of those tweets that even if you think it, you write it out, you just delete it. Like he's it got it. What did it cost him? <laughs> 13 likes. Yay. All of these retweets are gonna be quote retweets like this one. Saying, What the hell, dude? Just let people be. Just let them live. He uh, Mo points that. out. That Going after the fans is how it started in the first place. Mm. Indeed, indeed. So uh you've got looks like you've got and uh, she's done, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight characters, but they're smaller, and then you've got you got about half the thing left to go. Yeah, Camel. that's what I said. I said the right half is done. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll continue uh, getting this all properly flatted and then start the uh, the highlights and such. Yeah, you could definitely start on the right side, I think. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping that uh, I was hoping that John might um, end and give us a raid, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're ending anyway, unless you're keeping. You're keep no, going. no, I'm just saying in general. I was just saying in, in general. I mean, it's no skin off my nose. Just do these streams to hang out. Yeah, 
when, did you uh, camel did you oh, sorry go on no, no, i was no. just gonna ask if you caught us uh at um at rob's house oh i watched it for a second you know my wife she dragged me to this van gogh exhibit <laughs> I and, hope she's not normally, normally, I'm like, yeah, all right, sure, culture, let's do it. This was the waste, the biggest waste of money. You, they bring you into this room, and it's all black curtains. And there's these giant monoliths with his life on it. And they expect you to read. There's like 40 pages. So you got to read a book before you even go into the thing. And so there's all those fucking, you know bumbling idiots in the hallway who can't read and they're taking forever. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's move on. So you got to wait for the people ahead of you to read. Finally, after probably about 20 minutes of, of people shovel, like shoveling through this hallway, you know, like cows, we get herded into this big auditorium where there's all of these giant, like, um, uh, I don't know, you know, screens, they, you know, they're from the ceiling to the floor, floor to the ceiling. And it's just like a bunch of, uh, what do you call them? Just, just stills, I guess, animated stills of his paintings. I mean, it's not, I was like, what the, f it was worthless. It was truly worthless. I could have I mean, believed. even the story sounds boring, so it must have been horrible. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing to, to, I was like, we just, we just were sitting there. I was like. It was it was almost like like she didn't these, like, like it either. I think she felt she was like that was not worth whatever because she paid for it, you know, because she was excited for it. She was not happy about that. But it was almost like one of these exhibits that you would see in like a James Bond movie, where there's like something happening in like a cocktail party, and it's like oh, it's the whatever exhibit, and then but Bond is like hunting someone like behind the stage or something, but. There was none of that. There was no food or drink allowed. It's just people looking at the walls. And then there's like, you know, like this flash animation of, of him blinking. Like you see Van Gogh's paintings and he's blinking at you. I was like, oh, this is so dumb. And, uh, and then, you know, they'll show you a painting of his. And, you know, you know, like in your thing, Mike, when uh, you s start your website and you see those seagulls fly by or whatever they're, crows. Mm-hmm. Well, they do the same thing, but they're not animated. They just move them. So it looks like a bunch of M's moving from the left <laughs> to the right. I'm like, come on. You know. Bancroft did better than that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, and he just copies. And then, yeah. you know, finally we leave. And we get into the um, the gift store. You know, it's like $30 for a print, $50 for a t-shirt. But I couldn't believe it. Talk about like van gauche they had a they had a fucking a doll they had a van gogh doll with his ear cut off they had like like a million beanie babies of them i was like this is just exploitive i don't know it felt it felt really gross i was like we gotta go i can't the art world is gross it, yeah it was it. really bad i was like this is this is uh pretty pathetic you know and you could also buy a uh, a needed eraser, but it was an ear eraser because he cut his ear off, and so they had the <laughs> tons of these ear erasers. I was like, this is this is pretty pretty bad. And then they took all of his paintings and they turned them into three D lenticular prints. It was it was like out of idiocracy. So it's like you know you could wave it and like and you could see like one version of the painting, and then you can see like another version of the painting from a different color palette. It was, yeah, I was like, you got to be kidding. I couldn't, this is a guy who never made a dime in his life. And, you know, it's just, it was, yeah, it was pretty uh, tone deaf. I couldn't, uh, uh -huh. couldn't stomach it. Uh, Travis tone, Patrick. Tone deaf. All oh, right. I get it. <laughs> Travis Patrick for five no. says, Marky boy can come after me. He's not getting any of my money. Just some stiff little fingers, backwards peace signs. Thank you so much, Travis. Um, Hyper Wizard says, do you think you'll be streaming a lot while you're home alone or focusing on work? I'll probably keep up my same schedule and the extra time. Um, 
I mean, it's you know, it's not a huge amount of extra time, but it, you know, it's there is some time. You know, I'm going to send him computer uh, games and ruin it. No, there will be no playing of games. It'll just be getting some stuff done. I don't, I don't, I don't think I would. Uh, even if I didn't have to, you know, do my day job, I would probably wouldn't do much more YouTube than I already do because I think I do quite a lot. You do, you do, uh, you do too much. Um, Jasper says <laughs> for you, I need the lunatics begin sentences with legit question. Um, all right. Well, I think Rob wants to go. It's seven thirty. Uh, I will continue um, getting or uh, working on on this uh, on this piece tonight. And I just got uh, here. yeah, because I know. Well, I know so whose uh, fault's that. <laughs> well, yours, because you guys usually start at three. I was like, all right, I should I'm be only five minutes late. And then started an hour. Yeah, we're, and uh, I'm, I'm, well, we're changing it. We had to change the time now because it's um it's our daylight savings. So well, uh, can I guess, we find we a start? time that like, is consistent? Well, I mean, no, it's always been consistent for us. <laughs> Oh, We've okay. <laughs> always done this stream after our work, regardless of what time it happens in the US. Uh, so I'll let you know exactly when that is for next week ahead of time. Um, All right. Skip says, don't end it, but uh, we have to, unfortunately. Uh, so I will, uh, I'll see if I can do a video tomorrow. Other than that, the next time you guys will see me will probably be on the video game show over on camels how did uh how did cory go and clayton uh 814 last i checked uh that's okay crazy man what were they at before the night started dude oh it, like 720 or something oh wow. i think i was trying to get them to 750 and they're on 740 did they beat me is that me is that is that it they've defeated me yeah you're you're done you're done like Hold on. Hold on, What's not the, not one hundred percent. Got to be fifty nah, something, right? You're done. I'm sixty five thousand, but I don't know exactly what. Um, hold on. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm still ahead. So I'm sixty five thousand three hundred and eleven. They're sixty five thousand two hundred and forty eight. So I'm about to be done, but I'm not. I still have some head left. How far away am I? Let me check how far ahead I am. Uh, you are. I am sixty nine thousand. So I'm. Oh wow! You got it. You're fine. You're fine. But they, yeah. but they, but they beat your backer number. They My did. My yeah. backer number is one. They need to beat one thousand and twenty two. So I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, guys, we are yeah. going to leave it there. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Phil, for jumping on. Thank you, Camel. Um, even a little bit is is, is worth it. Uh, <laughs> the biggest thank you of all goes out to the wonderful, amazing, incredible, and me I forgot to what do I say. Uh, phenomenal. Sexiest chat in all of CG. I will see you on the next one. Until then, hope you have a great night. All right, bye. Individually, we are weak, like a single twig. But as a bundle, we form a mighty 